Cisco BGP Root Server. In this video I want to explain the benefit and reason for root server usage in the service provider world. You will also learn about the configuration procedure, and we will have a demonstration about it. Before talking about the function of the root server, I want to explain what is Internet Exchange and how IX works. An IX is a physical location that provides infrastructure for the service providers to exchange internet traffic between their networks. The infrastructure includes rack space, electricity cooling resources, and common switching infrastructure for service providers to directly connect their network. IX is a cost-saving option for smaller service providers who do not have resources to maintain multiple one-to-one -one connections. In our topology, you can see the shared public peering at IX, notice that, in the physical topology shown in the diagram, all the service providers share a common subnet across the same switching infrastructure. The full mesh peering of a service provider present a scaling and administrative challenge. All the eBGP sessions are formed across a single link, and a flap on one link causes a BGP session to flap on multiple SP networks, which can lead to service impacts. Also, there is a huge operational overhead from the contracts that are negotiated between the service providers for each peering. Root servers solve this problem by providing RR functionality for eBGP sessions. Root servers facilitate multilateral peering, instead of maintaining multiple eBGP sessions, a provider only peers with the root server that takes care of reflecting the roots.yo you can see the difference in the new logical topology. Now let's jump into the configuration and deployment section. First step in our root server deployment is to establish session between IX router and other routers. Let's do the configuration. Step 1, configure IX router as a neighbor with AS500. And I will repeat the same procedure for each router. Now it's time to configure IX as a root server. To make it as root server, we have two stages. Stage 1, configure all ISP routers as neighbors. Stage 2, configure neighbors as router server client. For stage 2 we need to go under address family and do the root server client configuration. Now the neighborship is done, we go under address family and issue the root server client command for each ISP router. The configuration is done, now we should add AS65000 and AS65001 to our diagram and advertise some network.
I will advertise 192-168-40-24 from AS65001 side and advertise 192-168-10-24 from AS65000 side. The BGP root server provides AS path, med, and next hop transparency, the peering is actually transparent outside the IX, even though the service providers may be directly connected at the IX. But before we check the transparency, we will face an issue. As you can see, we will receive an error message on ISP routers. The ISP drops updates messages, marking them as malformed. The reason for this issue is router server transparency. We know the root server has transparency on AS path. This causes a root server not to put its own AS in the AS path list, on the other hand BGP by default denies any updates received from an eBGP peer that does not list its own AS number at the beginning of the AS path list. This rule will cause the issue. To receive updates from the root server, the root server clients should disable this behavior. Let's do the configuration on ISP routers and see the result. Now we receive the roots and updates from R1 and R4. And lastly, because of AS path transparency, we do not see AS500, although the ISP routers receive all the updates from IX router. So that was a lesson about root server function, I hope you enjoyed the video. For more cool topics please visit my website on www.networkingwithsan.com or join my YouTube channel. Stay safe. And see you soon again.